Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm gonna ask you this question, Kirby. Is there an easier way to make money than investing? Yes. I'm just gonna make it short and sweet. Yes. Um I mean the simple one, just you know, just making money. I mean, we didn't say uh, you know, a benchmark, you know, a hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars, whatever, but just to make money. Uh, yeah, a job. A job is easier than investing. And what I mean by easier in investing is people are programmed, you know, since the early parts of the United States to get up, go to work and get a paycheck. The thing that people are not trained or taught or ingrained in them, you know, through family dynamics, just to America, how we set up in general is to invest. So just a job in general will is much easier than investing but once you learn how to invest you'll be like oh this is it this is the easiest thing ever uh but another thing now let's just say you got a job and your dilemma is hey i want to make extra income is it something easier than taking my money putting it in the stock market but yeah and uh we talked about it in another video arbitrage arbitrage and we talked about if we started from zero something that'd be easier i mean of course it'll be some nuances you need to learn to make it shape but gary v you know he put that out and made it a trend but i guess people didn't believe in the trend me anytime i hear new information i study it and and arbitraging you know buying something from somebody else and selling it for a higher price somewhere else is uh live and well uh my wife is a good proponent of that meaning that She's taking it to a whole nother level, levels that I never even thought possible. You know, I thought Gary V was just, you know, throwing a solid out there saying, hey, here go how you put, you know, a couple hundred dollars, you know, a hundred, two hundred dollars in your pocket if you broke. But no, it's a it's a full fledged. You can make tens, tens to hundreds of thousand dollars just arbitraging, selling stuff, you know, and and I'm not talking about online retail. I'm talking about physical in a community selling stuff you can you know, make tens of thousands of dollars that way. So I think that's easier than the stock market. I mean, once you learn how to post, you know, post a picture, take some pictures and then, you know, put your title, you know, your title for whatever product or good you're selling up there. That's about the crux of what you need to do. Besides that, that's it. I mean, when you come to investing, if you, you know, you want to be dive deep into it through single stocks and stuff like that, then it's a little harder because you got to know the intent, uh, you know, the nuances of, you know, pig ratios, price to earning ratios, cash flow statements, earnings and listen to conference calls and, you know, do all that due diligence. But that right there, arbitrage, I think is way easier than actual trying to study individual stocks. Yeah, I would agree with you completely because. I don't know if I would say or like recommend to people if they're looking to make money, I don't think I would say, yeah, go ahead and invest because I think investing is more so what you do when you are making money. It's to basically take the capital that you're earning and deploy it so that you don't lose it. And so that what you've earned continues to grow. And eventually when you keep repeating that, then it provides you another income and then you know, appreciation. So it grows with you. Um, I think that's the benefit to investing, but I don't think like someone should just like, Oh, let me just, I've only got two grand. Let me just throw it on the stock market. Hopefully I'm gonna make more money. I think that's the wrong approach. Cause especially like when I was starting out, I did not go the, you know, let me try to trade penny stocks route. I was just selling stuff on eBay, selling stuff on Facebooks, you know, thick platforms like that. And that's where, I was able to actually make, I would say at times even more money than I was making at my job because, you know, if you find good deals on products, you could really 10, 100x them, honestly. I mean, those are where you really get big flips. You just got to know what you're looking for. And um, then you take that money and then over long term investing, you start to see another income. But I think you don't see real money making from investing until years and years after you've done it for so long absolutely no i agree with you a thousand percent and that's and that's the key people think that 
oh, I can go invest real quick and I can, you know, pay off the IRS or I can invest real quick and pay off, you know, back property taxes or stuff like that. No, investing is a long term game. And I mean, when I say long term, I'm not talking about five or 10 minutes or three to five months. I'm talking years and I ain't talking to one or two years. I'm talking five, six, eight, ten. Well, especially when you come to the stock market, even when you if you go invest in real estate. It's a 10 year process. I mean, yeah, you can get cash flow day one, but the cash flow, let's just say you bought a single family property and you and then you buy it and then your cash flow is three, three hundred dollars a month. A hot water tank, a hot water tank will cost you about twelve hundred dollars. That's four months of your cash flow right there. AC, you're going to go out. And that's going to cost you six to seven thousand dollars. That's two years of your cash flow right there. So you already in the negative. So you have to keep building. That's why we always say if you're going to get into real estate, if if you think you're going to buy one property and rent it out and you think that you reached the pinnacle of being a real estate investor, you don't lost your damn mind. You got to If you're going to buy one, you should at least say I'm buying five. I really say now you should be saying I'm buying 10 and you're doing hell of a deal so you can get that cash flow to turn it well. But just to, hey, I need money in my pocket. I'm going to use, I'm going to go to the stock market. No, I mean, we talk about, you know, having passive income from the stock market is because we can, we have the ability to buy thousands of shares and then we can, you know, sell cash, I mean, cover calls against it. And then we can bring in an income if we just need a cash. Hey, hey, we need three, four hundred dollars to go to the mall or something let's just use that even though we know our cheap ass ain't going to the mall but let's just say that then we'll just go sell a cover call on monday we take that money and go to the mall and we still got our money there and then we can do it again next week and a week and a week after that but you have to like you said investing is the byproduct of already having a flow of cash that you can invest you can't just go in there with you know a thousand dollars two thousand dollars thinking that you about to go hit the money shot or hit the rainbow or you about to change that to a million. And that's a misconception I think a lot of people have. And that's why people, some people are scared of the stock market. And um, they're still out there looking for ways. But there's many ways to make money that's way easier in the stock market. But to grow well, you need to invest. And that's real estate. That's businesses. That's the stock market. Not mind you, when I say real estate, I mean buy and hold real estate. Flipping, that's great. You know, you can get money with flipping, you can get money with wholesaling, but that long term money where you can just sit back and the money come to you is buy, buy and hold real estate. Absolutely. With all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, leave us a comment down below, share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.